G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. And with me today is the older sibling or the bigger sibling from Helicontex of the Bergen. This is Air Matilda. And we'll quickly go down the specs. It's 35 litre. The top material is 210D ni uh, nylon. Let's get this right. Uh, on the bottom we have a 500D Cordora on the bottom of the three pouches and the main section of the pack and the whole lot's got a waterproof lining on the inside so keep your gear well let's say water resistance because if you drop it in the water or in the river the water's going to get in through all the drain holes so water resistant Weighs in at about 1.6 kilos based on the military style Bergen. As you can see, we've got the pockets here, three of them, and they're all stitched down the one side, which allows for us to put an axe down the back of it. And that's all three. I like that. Now they're all about the same size, these are, so I'll show you the front one. We've got the buckle on the front, which is a fairly good quality one. What's it on the back? WJ. Don't know what that stands for. If anybody knows, let me know. But we've got the waterproof in here. And we've got the cinch buckle going to some decent cord. And that opens up to a fairly decent size. And I've got probably, where are we? Just over halfway filled without pushing anything down. I've got my snake bite kit in there. I've got a fairly decent first aid kit, a little bit more than a basic. An emergency bag, not the blanket, the bag, which is bigger. And my basic hygiene kit, which has got the sanitizer in there, toothbrush, cloths. Yep, yeah, all good. And that all fits in here nice and easy Let's put that back and like I said even the inside of here it's all waterproofed waterproof lining or waterproof coating decent cinch nice and strong you've really got a pull for it to come undone so if you're going to put anything in there, you know it's going to be nice and secure. Here's that plane again. And the birds. Decent cinch, uh, lock on that buckle. And we've got the cinch uh, strap here too, so you can cinch it down even tighter if you want to. Then we'll go on this side, just for a quick look. So you got the idea what will fit in. Yeah, I've got the poncho in there, the Helicontex one. And you could probably, out of squeeze, fit two of those in there. But you could fit a decent, say, 3x3 three three tarp in that, I reckon. I've taken it off here, and it's just on the bottom. We've got the Velcro, which will hold or tidy all your straps up here. I've just put that one there because I don't use it. So if you don't like this, you'll just wrap them up and use your Velcro and that'll hold them in place. There's less cord dangling around. I, haven't, I don't know why I haven't taken that one off yet, but I find they get in the way, personally. What have I got on this side? This is my cup kit. Yep, that's my Evernew uh, TI solo cook kit it's called i just did a video of that i don't know if it was last week or the week before little stand for the canister to keep it stable i saw you yeah, it's this one i think it's the uh just a mini and the packet in there too the the uh, water filtration system bag so fill it with water connect it to that Squeeze it through into your pots or into your canteen. It's 
bit cold this morning and I've got a bit shaky with the cold. And well, I am no far to allow, so... On this side, you see, I've got my sleep pad, uh, mat or sleep pad. And that's held on with two cinch straps. You can do that. So we've got plenty of strap in here. So you can be able to strap on a fairly decent size. Again, we've got the 210 going down to the 500 D Cordora. We've got two rows of webbing and we've got three loops on each. So now you know you can connect whatever you want. And on this side, I've got their Essentials Pack, which sits just nice on there with the that lander behind it. It cinches up quite easy and good. So nice and small, really secure. Let's put the mat back. Let's put something in this one, put that back to it. Oh, we've got the crows coming to have a nose. Nice and secure now. Going nowhere. On the bottom, we've got four loops, webbing loops, so you can attach your sleep pad on the bottom if I want, or anything you want to put on there. It could be your tent, your sleep pad, whatever you want to. Now let's turn it around. Good, strong, heavy duty grab handle. Shoulder straps, there's no load lifters on this one, but you don't really need it to be honest. I used to be a big believer in load lifters, and a lot of packs you need to use those load lifters, but this one you don't. The same as the little burger one, I haven't needed them, Just haven't been necessary. Now the shoulder straps, we're looking at about three inches in width here, but about half inch and three quarter inches thick. It's been shaped quite nice to come around your shoulders and if you're the same as me you carry most of the weight on your hip belts so these are here just to stop the pack pulling back we've got d-rings here so we can attach like i have on this one i've got my hiker's watch on it so i can always tell what time it is day or night got some webbing coming down i've put this hook and loop on there because that holds my camera or my walking pole whenever I'm walking. And down to a chest strap which is good and secure. No messing around. Buckle on it. And that can be adjusted up or down whichever you want. And coming off the webbing I've got one of my carabiners which is just like a D1 which is perfect. It sits in here nice, no messing about. And I can hook my hydration bottle on here, my spare ones when needed. And that comes down to a good quick release buckle if you want needed to drop your pack. How about a young one? Got, hello, I've got a young crow here, or a magpie, sorry. And that's the same on this side. And the pad in at the back. All right, all the actual material coming down the back here is all the 500D, so that's where it's going to get the most wear on your back. But they've got two padded areas here with some fairly decent <laughs> ventilation or help your back breathe more so it doesn't sweat as much. 
and they've got the same on the inside of your shoulder straps and also on your weight belt the weight waist belt or your hip belt whatever you want to call that and that's got some nice 500d at the bottom so it's going to last a good while and as you can probably see on the hip belt I've got a couple of pouches if you see there they've got two rows of the molly webbing and there's four attachment points going down there's a fifth one but it goes around into the back of the pack so I've got my smaller one there which has got my compass in that one that's got my hydration I've got a litre canteen in that one and with the waist belt in the back here let's put my hand in is velcro so you can just leave it a velcro apart from the belt and you can pull that all the way out if you want to and the webbing like I said is probably five or six so you can use that as a standalone belt on its own so you can leave the main part at home or if you don't like waist belts you can take it off completely and just carry it with the shoulder straps at the top here before I open it it's got a really big pocket and that goes from here all the way down and back up the other side so plenty of space easy to throw your maps in there I've got the cords for my sleep mat my vagabond seat pad, uh, sit pad so no loops that I can find in that one nope. Let's go back to the hip belt or the waist belt. Now, the first one I saw, let's put it on. I'm going to show you. Looking at other people's reviews going over a couple of years now, doing the hip belt up or tightening it up, the older versions you pull from the front back. And what I really like about this one, is I've got the loop on my pocket, is you pull from the back forward. So that's a natural thing. So as you pull forward, you pull your stomach in and lean back. So it's going to give you a tighter fit. Just like that. But if you're pulling from the back, most people pull from the back and they lean backwards and push their stomach out. So they're not getting a nice tight fit or comfortable fit. There we go. I don't even need the shoulder straps another thing I like about this one I don't know if it was designed on purpose but I think I it used to have the uh, elastic on here to hold it all in place and it was just a pain with adjusting it having to put, uh, put it back through the elastic so I did notice here where the strap is and the buckle is connected to the actual belt there's like a small pocket so like I said, I don't know if it's meant for that. But you can roll the actual belt up. And that fits inside that little pocket part here. So you've got no belt hanging down. And it's the same on this side. in there fiddly at the moment there you go that's in there now so there's no belt hanging down getting in the way and another thing about the buckles being this side by your waist when you're doing it up you come to undo it all you're going to be doing is putting your finger under the buckle and then giving it a slight tug and it comes in done nice and easy all right let's go on the inside of the pack now right before we get on the inside the front we've got the two cinch straps coming down here with the buckles 
decent size, you can do them up and undo them easy with a pair of gloves on. And where this, the cinch on the side, is connected, we have another row all the way around of webbing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten atta uh, attachment points. So if you need more space, or if you want to be more organised and put some small pouches on for your med kit or whatever, you've got all this room around here to add that to. On the inside of the lid, again the same area from the back all up to the top around, we have a mesh pocket. So, and that again is a waterproof lining. So if you want to put your med kit in there, or any electronics or anything like that, they'll be fairly protected in that section. There's no loops that I can see to attach, no D-rings, no. Then get into, getting into the pack, we've got the main cinch buckle here on cord, which will open it out. Uh, I've got enough in here to last probably So still up room, probably I could get all my food in there and not have to adjust it and that's for about four to five days. And then we've got the second one which you can adjust. So now your storage has gone from this point up to here and that still fits over the top and you'll just undo the straps in here to bring the buckle up <laughs> like that. So now your pack is even bigger. So you're able to store more, or you could put your jacket underneath there, or even your sleep pad could fit underneath that on top. Your choice is many ways of actually adjusting this to make it work. This is just how I use it. Now, uh, if you're the same as me, each time you go out, your pack will be slightly different with what you carry and how you set it up. So it's not all going to be the same every time. On the inside at the top, again, we've got another row of webbing with six attachment points. And below that, we have your water or your hydration bladder, which will hold that and give it a click and it goes in. Now I have I use the Hydropack one and because you've got the plastic at the top and these are two small buckles, how can I really, um, I've had to stretch mine. I warm them up and stretch it just like an extra millimetre so this buckle would go through easier. So there's just a, a little tip. And the main support frame is like a plastic with an aluminium uh, strap I call it a, a flat rod going down that you can adjust to shape to your back if you want to but the whole internal let's show you I've got my my bivy fellow food for today the snuff pack jungle bag which I'll be testing out sleeping bag liner fleece jacket Wet weather pants, rain jacket, change of clothing, and there you go, you can see in there now, all the way to the bottom, it's just one piece, no pockets, no dividers in there, just from top to the bottom. Let's put that all back. See, I'm not having to find spaces and everything. Just shove it in, plenty of room. Let's do that zip back up before I forget. And again, without even 
shoving it in too tight or finding the gaps and filling them up with stuff like this it comes to there you've still got all this space you can use do this little back up cover that inside again and over buckles up nice and easy uh, like I say, I wouldn't guarantee putting one of these in here because the bottom is open so over time it may work its way through depending how tight you have your pack so I've got that behind my essential pouch there oh yeah you've got your hook and loop here so you can put your morale badge on there or whatever you want to so that's it that's the Helicon Text Bushcraft Range Matilda pack so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got anything out of it and you have enjoyed it please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell click on all and click on the thumbs up and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care